The conversation about race and diversity, how has it changed with President Obama leaving office and Donald Trump taking office? To talk more about that is Reverend Donald Morton and Yasser Payne, a University of Delaware professor. Thank you for being back. Thank, Thank you, you for coming in. I think there was a lot of hope, Reverend, when President Obama was elected that race relations would heal in America. I know people that didn't vote for him that said, oh, I'm glad he got in because now finally we can deal with this issue. And yet, in many ways, it seemed like it got worse. Do you agree with that? Well, I, I don't know that it got worse. I think uh, that what many would suggest uh, created a problem with uh, President Obama uh, in the office actually exposed a problem that, that had already existed, that had been able to remain very, very subtle, and now was incredibly overt. Um, and so now we're, we're forced to have a conversation that uh, we weren't forced to have in, in times past. Uh, there was a book written called Between Barack and a Hard Place, right? That this, this idea, uh, it, 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 re it really <laughs> was, right? That, that we're talking about race, we're talking about class, but we can't get to a post-racial America because we're not a post-racial America. And, and I think that's the conversation that we really need to continue to have. And was the Donald Trump election a reaction to that? I definitely think it's definitely a reaction to race you know, uh, uh, taking the forefront. But I think, like, like, like Reverend Morton said, I think race and racism has always remained to be an issue in the United States of America. I think we hoped, right, that Barack Obama's presidency would somehow uh, fix, you know, this social problem. But I think what we're faced with is Which a... Which probably too much to put on one man, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And I think what we're actually faced with is actually a social structural problem. There's structural violence that is historical. Structural violence has continued to persist. Right? We see huge or large unemployment rates inside low-income black neighborhoods. Sometimes 50, 60, 70 percent of the men are unemployed, right? Some of the things that, that he just mentioned, Yasser just mentioned, got worse under President Obama. And so there are, there are black leaders in the country that are criticizing him for not doing enough. How do you stand on that? We're, we're not talking about an anthropological reality. Blackness is not an anthropological reality, right? It is an ontological one. It is to suggest that you can have a fairer skin and still have an issue or concern for black thought, black policy, those things that affect the most marginalized of our community. And I think uh, what President Obama did, uh, to, to Dr. Payne's point, President Obama did as much as he could do within a structure Absolutely. Absolutely. That, that he had to function within. But you saw the effort? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And I didn't agree with everything mm -hmm. that the president mm -hmm. did. Uh, uh, we're not a monolithic people, right? So I didn't agree with everything that he did, but I, I think he did some things that were significant uh, that he probably will never be recognized for, at least uh, uh, for a long time. Dr. King uh, wasn't beloved until he died. Right. And so there, there's going to be some significant things that we recognize that the president did uh, after he's long after he's out of office uh, that, that I think we're going to have to wrestle. And, with. and that's with most presidents. Yes, that, absolutely. That history is the one that judges absolutely. in the long run. But let's take this down to our level. Let's yes. let's leave the federal government for a second. How has Delaware done and how has cities like Wilmington done? Uh, or have they improved as it comes to race relations? I think we're talking about race some more. Um, which is good, um, 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 but that has to translate into structural opportunity. And it seems, and, and the, what you're talking about is extremely important, and that, and that conversation sometimes gets lost in some things that are that might be seen as a little bit more frivolous, and but that jobs, uh, in improving the criminal justice system, you would, you would agree that those are the, those are the real Absolutely. issues. Absolutely. Do you see hope for the near future? I'm, I'm as a pastor, always hopeful. I mean, I'm <laughs> always hopeful. Well yes. said. Reverend Donald Morton and Yasser Payne. Uh, Reverend Morton has been on several times. Yasser Payne, the University of Delaware, thank you so much thank you. for thank coming you. here. That's the Delaware Way for this week. Go to www.kjwp2 com to replay segments from this show or previous shows and leave your comments about what you've seen on the show today on our Facebook page or reach me on Twitter at the Delaware Way or at Larry Menti. We may read your thoughts on a future show. I'm Larry Menti. See you again next week.